wouldn't it be nice to accept those parts of you that you've previously ignored? Those parts of you that wish to come into the light, but you have continuously pushed them down. So just relax as you listen to these words, taking you to a calm place. When you were a little bit younger, perhaps you asked yourself, what do you want to be when you give up? <laughs> That's right. Just let that sink into you. As you sink down a little deeper, into relaxation. It's so easy, you know. So lay there and feel as comfortable as possible as you take all of this in. Gently and easily because you know the best things are coming about in the easiest way, yes. The truly easiest way to do it is the right way because relaxation is easy. Mm, so, Feel yourself relaxing into that clear, calm, as those parts of you come to life, as it all becomes so very real, wonderfully magnificently real and all of those things coming up so relax into it feel these thoughts and emotions rise as you naturally have these things different from anyone else quite unique your own little dark side coming up, showing itself to the world in the best way possible. That's right. And soon you will feel that taking over you completely so that your darkness rises, your thoughts coming to you from deep within, that visceral feeling rising, falling like each and every breath. So you may notice these thoughts coming up now, perhaps something that you did not quite want before. But why does it keep coming? You know what I'm talking about. Thoughts about that. Yes, in your head, in your heart, in your body. Thinking those thoughts. Perhaps you don't like them so much, but you can't resist. Your addictions, your needs, these things mixed with a passion. Allow them to rise now as you relax even deeper. 
these wants and desires. Perhaps you want to be heard, to be felt, to be understood. Perhaps you wish for power or the power of powerlessness. Yes. You know exactly what I mean when you experience that bliss. To be taken downstream like you're simply floating down and down that river, letting it take you there. Yes. Perhaps sometimes you feel a flash of passion combined with anger, and that gives you the inspiration to make and create and change. Maybe sometimes you feel nothing at all, nothing at all. And that emptiness has a meaning inside itself too. And you will embrace that. You will feel that deep within you. So be calm, relax even more. Just allowing everything to happen. Mixed up thoughts and feelings. You're no different than anyone else. Just a cog in the system. Flip a button, or a switch, or anything like that. And you're up, or you're down. The world pushes you around. And it's gonna have to be that way, isn't it? Unless you give in to this feeling of desire. To let it take over you to flow over your psyche and allow it to change. Yes, enjoy that feeling as you relax, letting your body go heavy, so heavy, loose, calm, so calm slow, the whole world slowing down and down. Make no mistake, you can feel it corrupting your soul already. drawn to this so good to just allow your mind to move forward towards it and away from anything else yes you will accept your darkness shadow and I want you to know that whatever you need to say has been heard perhaps you can feel that can you imagine what it feels like to have your every thought exactly what you need to say before you even say it. And it is ground in passion. Whether it is a 
light or a dark passion. It is vibrance all the same. And you will let it flow through you. You will feel freedom when you have given in to that passion. The vibrance of anger, hate, love, desire, and all things. Cleansing you, washing you, allowing that release that you've always wanted as easy as a snap, just like that, and it feels so good to release it, to be there as you will accept this now, from this moment forth, you accept this part of you, because it is you. It's a part of who and what you are. No matter how hard you try, it will never go away. You must accept it. The harder you push, the more it pushes back. Physics doesn't change in the realm of the physical and the emotional and thought form. Nothing changes. Laws are universal. And so you cannot escape it. Keep pushing harder. Watch what happens. And if you keep going where you're headed, well, you might just end up where you're going. As simple as that. Nothing too complex. Peace in simplicity. As you allow yourself to relax. Just draw it in. Each breath draws in that vibration of the shadow aspect. No one can tell you quite how this is. You're searching through this guidance deep within you. And even if you do nothing now, nothing at all, with your conscious mind. Your subconscious does it all on its own. Some say that the subconscious is the one controlling you. Doing tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of commands in one second. Each second. Over and over again. And yet your conscious mind can do one thing. A single core computer. It may seem like you're doing multiple things, but you're doing one at a time through parallelization. One thing and then another thing, making the illusion that you can multitask. Only the subconscious can do that. The subconscious being a computer with many thousands of cores. Your conscious having one. Notice now how you can notice just one or two things at a time. You can focus on the visuals and the audio that you hear, or a thought in your mind, so difficult to think of all of them, 
as each moment you flutter between them, thinking about what you're watching now, listening to, then thinking about a memory. Yes, you've been doing that. As your mind cannot focus on everything, you cannot do that. And so you must accept this command deep within you. You have no choice but to go into the darkness, to reach your limbs in physical and psychological into that darkness. Because we We don't fear what's in the darkness. We fear what we think is in that darkness. Relax even deeper. Contemplating what you think is in the darkness. You are projecting into it. Just be calm and remember that you have no idea what's about to happen. You may notice in the coming time, the next few days, tiny changes. Because changes come in tiny little packages, adding up to create the pyramids and standing for 6,000 years. Just one block at a time. You'll notice these changes. Changes where you dive into that darkness. The pain, the thresholds broken, seeing that it becomes nothing. Nothing at all for your mind to contemplate and accepting that you know nothing. You know nothing. So difficult to think. How could you contemplate the multitudes of this universe? There is nothing that you could really understand about this world. You must accept the way that this is, the way that you simply don't know, and the way that no one knows. There are exactly zero people that have written a book on what life is. Some like to contemplate, but that's all it is. And your contemplation will get you nowhere. And that's a good place to be. Sometimes going nowhere will get you everywhere. Sometimes if you want to stand tall, you've got to get on your knees. you think about this. Be small so that you can be large, and be large so that you can be small, and accept this divinity of duality calmly, like you're drifting into a deep sleep. Make no worries if you Draft off to sleep into dream world. Dream world is your place to be, sinking down into darkness. Darkness now, like a thick gray fog 
covers your vision. Thick, gray fog. Perhaps you can see it, feel it, or even hear it. Covering your entire being. And now you have become that darkness. Allow yourself to be one with that. because it feels so very good. It is an incredible sensation to let go. And you can do that now. Just letting it happen. You'll find it difficult to resist. And the harder you try, well, the more difficult it becomes. But you already knew that. Sinking deeper, sinking deeper into that darkness. Like a tunnel vision that draws you in as you stare off, not really knowing who you are, what you are, and realizing just how little your own thoughts and opinions of yourself matter. You see the world through your own eyes. That is your darkness. You simply cannot understand this world and any attempt is completely futile. You must accept that you are simply a mammal and that you do not understand this life. So go, accept, accept now that dark shadow and come to the dark side. Somehow the dark is more enlightened because we do not pretend to have all the answers. Yes, your false prophets and anyone else who likes to say that they understand. That is not the way. The way is the darkness. The way is the unknowing. And now you have been indoctrinated into the life of nothingness, the life of unknowingness. And yes, sometimes it hurts just a little when you learn to wake up. Waking up can be a bit of a startle. But once you're awake, you know that the nightmares are over. You can come to the ground level. This is where we stand high up on the mountain, grounded with power, infinite power. And yet, we have our heads high up in the clouds. The true way to be. And now you've become one with us the collective reality of conscious understanding, one with that infinite power as you feel it coursing calmly through your veins, 
like an IV injection flowing through you, flowing through every nerve and experiencing that bliss, that divinity that you need, that you want, that you've got to have now. It is bliss. And now you've become one with this. Just experience it now. Calm, unfiltered reality. A reality that you see but you can never know. Perceiving it. And then seeing that you're simply looking through your eyes. Receiving through your ears. Feeling through your hands. That's right. It's that easy. So relax into it. Remember that you know nothing, they know nothing, and we know nothing. But we are powerful, unstoppable, a crusade of unknowingness, and keeping it going. Aspiring to nothing and yet everything. We do not expect you to understand the duality. Those who understand, who claim to know it, know nothing just as you do. So, in the coming time, soon enough, you will feel this shadow come up. And it will feel like something you've felt before. And a little bit like something you've never felt before. And those new feelings and the old feelings, you will accept them. And you will dive into that bliss. You will dive head first into that bliss. And if you do not dive, it will dive to you, no matter what you do. And you will be safe, protected. You will float through it, breathing consciously, peacefully, and you will feel that divine bliss. So go now, go into it, 